So I read Christmas in Coconut Creek by Carissa Kenwood and I have some thoughts. So this book was part of my Probably Smart Book Club which you can find the books on their Instagram page but if you want a special edition they have it on their website. So I'm just going to read the bio of the book because I find it very much does encapsulate the sort of story. Book overview. A romantic comedy debut from number one best-selling science fiction romantic romance author Carissa Kenwood. I'm sorry, I misread that. A romantic comedy debut author from number one best-selling science fiction romance author Carissa Kenwood. Listen, the typo is an on the offensive thing. I'm allowed to make jokes, <laughs> but there rest there are no typos. There are a few things Coconut Creek has that. Pine Ridge does not. Palm trees, sandy beaches, butterfly museums, infuriatingly attractive special forces veterans, which I respect this trope. When Colorado elementary school teacher Ophelia Brody decides to ditch her the worst family for a Christmas in the Sunshine State with her college roommate, she, do she doesn't expect a mile high meat cute with pale skin. Uh, she doesn't expect a mile high meat cute to tailspin the entire trip. Frankie Casado is cocky, he's presumptuous, he's shameless, and he's just the right distraction from her depressing, fruitless dating life back home for a few weeks. He's definitely cocky. <laughs> I'm sorry, I ha I, I'm sorry, I had to. It just so happens the retired fighter, pi the retired fighter pilot is in somewhat of a wet of his own. And the circumstances around their coincidental meeting and unavoidable physical attraction are the perfect excuse for a festive fling. The rules are simple. Ophelia teaches him how the day began and Frankie shows her exactly what she should be demanding behind closed door behind closed doors. Friends with benefit until the ball drops in the rear. But a little bit of long lost but a little bit of long lost Christmas magic just might find a way to stir up more than their complicated past. Okay, that definitely happened. A lot of that happened and just if you ever need like a just a festive read, I know it's Christmas. I don't care. You don't you could probably like it's not even though it's Christmas it doesn't feel like religious Christmas is what I'm trying to say. Like it just feels very cheerful and I enjoyed I enjoyed listening to like this whole book, just I enjoyed it all. Oh my god. But there are some quotes that I want to talk about because they just stuck out to me. This is from page 13 about a second later. Someone cleared the door from above me. I said, I slammed my phone face down on my lap and looked up at the person who undoubtedly just fought me and I said, dude, boom. Only it was much, much worse than that. Oh, fuck me. It's better in person, Frankie said above me, smirking. That is my one fucking fear. That is my fear of online dating. Like, I'm trying to get to know more people around here because I know fucking nobody. In college, everyone basically lives in dorms and goodbye after, basically. So this is like the only way for me to like, so it's like, this is my fear. This is my, one of my biggest fears. And like, <laughs> like, it's funny, but it's also like, definitely a fear of mine. But my other favorite quote in this sort of book, that like, I just cannot stop laughing because it totally makes sense. But also, like, I'm not like this, like, I'm not like, this kind of person, but also, I can see myself doing this sometimes. And just, yeah. This is from page 51. All I know, because I'm dating one, is that women in their 20s are talking about husbands and babies at all hours of the, of the fucking day. He wants to stick a dick in something wet first thing in the morning. He wants to open a home goods credit card. Frankie squinted. Did you open a home goods credit card? That's not the fucking point, his friend Mateo took an aggressive gulp of his beer. Ophelia and Natalia are best friends, which means their brains are full of the same chosen nonsensical DIY projects and seasonal candle scents. Nonsensical DIY projects and seasonal candle scents. Ophelia is looking for someone to sell down with. The same way Talia... Wait. Uh. Brain walk with me. Ophelia is looking for someone to sell down with. The same way Talia is accidentally... Or the same way Talia, as she called her is accidentally leaving her laptop open to all inclusive home all inclusive honeymoon destination. 
this accent take me like the line there will be like have me cackling to three in the fucking morning but yeah you open the home video like huh? that's not the fucking point <laughs> like oh my god i love him with a passion like but um yeah this book is the pov in case that wasn't clear enough um it's from frankie's pov and ophelia's pov so please read this book it's a this is probably gonna be a compliment just for like from these two quotes alone but like i enjoyed reading and like, listening to this and just yeah best selling not best selling <laughs> So, um, yeah, happy new year, happy first video of the new year, happy 2024, and just good vibes all around. Be serious. So before I completely, like, piss off, if you like this style better, feel free to, like, leave a like or, like, pretty much anything like that, because I don't know, like, what style is good for me, I'm still figuring out for specifically this style of sort of this sort of genre of content on my channel but I kind of like it I feel like it was just better but I could be 100% wrong but um, yeah